If you're running an e-commerce store and you feel like email marketing is kind of important, but you also feel overwhelmed by it, welcome. In this video, I'll be doing an in-depth Klaviyo tutorial on how to create, set up, and send an email campaign, aka newsletter, aka broadcast in Klaviyo. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident when you send your email campaigns because you will do it exactly like we do when we manage our seven and eight figure e-commerce accounts. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency, where we help seven and eight figure e-commerce brands maximize their email and SMS revenue. We often 2X, 3X and 5X our clients' email revenue, so we've got lots of tricks up our sleeves. If you wanna support our team in creating more free tutorials like this one, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Now, let's dive in. Without wasting any time, let's go to the campaigns on the left and click Create a Campaign. The first thing you'll wanna do is name your campaign. This is an internal name, so we like to make it descriptive and searchable because we often go back to see how a particular email did in the past. Let's pretend I'm creating a Labor Day sale email, so that's how I'll name it. Before setting up your campaign, you need to choose who you're going to send this campaign to. Are you sending to your whole list, people who have engaged with your emails in the last 60 or 90 days, or subscribers who have looked at a specific product or collection? After thinking about the segments you want to be including, it's just as important to think about segments that you'll be excluding. For example, at Luck & Co, we always exclude extra unengaged people, wholesalers and distributors, and people who have purchased in the last 14 or 21 days. What if you don't see the segments you need in the drop-down menu? Then go to the list and segment section on the left and create a brand new one. After it's saved, it will become available in the drop-down list when you're setting up your campaign. There, I've created a list of people who've opened or clicked our emails in the last 90 days. Now, if need be, I can choose this segment for my campaign instead. You'll have an option of skipping the recently emailed profiles. This setting will keep you from accidentally emailing people too often. When this is on, if a person received an email from you in the last 16 hours, they won't be getting this campaign from you. It's a good idea to have the setting on for most campaigns you send, especially if you have email flow set up. A big sale might be one exception from this rule, because if the deal is truly great, people will appreciate getting a note about it, even if they just received another email from you recently. The tracking section is relevant for those who use Google Analytics because it helps you set up and manage UTM parameters. If you need that, make sure you turn this toggle on. Now you're done with the first step of setting up a Klaviyo campaign, so let's save and move on to the next step, content. The first thing you wanna do here is set your subject line and preview text. Now, many people think that the preview text is a nice to have. No. The preview text is an absolute must because that's what shows up right after the subject line in people's inboxes before they open the email. So it has a huge impact on whether someone opens your email or not. Email subject lines are an art and science. The most important thing, don't try to sell in the subject line. Subjects that combine curiosity with benefit usually do best. I have a personal vault of e-commerce subject lines that I've been saving for years, only the awesome ones, of course, and I put them all together for you in a free resource. The link is in the video description. Go check it out, I really think you'll like it. Now, on to design. You'll see that you have three options. If you're in e-commerce, you'll likely use Klaviyo Drag and Drop Builder most often, so that's what we'll choose. One of the other options is text only. It may seem like not a good choice for e-commerce, but you'd be surprised with the results you can get from a text-only campaign. The best occasions to use this type of template is for things like important reminders or announcements from the founder. After you pick drag and drop, you'll have three new options to choose from, themed, basic, and my templates. If you've never created an email before, the easiest one to start with would be the theme templates. These are drag and drop templates that are already designed and look kind of nice. Just pick one that looks the closest to what you want to do and edit the blocks. We're going to do just that in a second, right after I explain the other two options. Basic templates are what they sound like, a collection of basic blocks to give you a start. And finally, when you work on templates and save it, your saved templates will be in my templates tab. Just like with campaigns, I recommend giving them descriptive and searchable names, because once you have over 20 of them, you'll really wish you named them something that would help you find them later. All right, to continue, let's pick this third themed template. The next screen you see here is Klaviyo's drag and drop email builder. 
All of the blocks are on the left and most of them are pretty self-explanatory. All you do is pick one and drag and drop it into your email. One block that I do want to explain is this products block. It's really cool because it allows you to dynamically feature products based on their popularity and based on subscribers browse and purchase history. Once you've dropped it into your email, you need to pick a product feed at the top here. If you have a shopping platform integration, you should have one feed here by default, which includes all of your products. But you can also create a more specific product feed when you go to data feeds on the left and then click create product feed. In the block settings, you want to select yes next to use personalized recommendation because that's what's going to personalize this feed based on what products they viewed in the past. It's important to note that if the recipient purchased a product previously, that product will never show up for them in the product feed. After you've specified your feed parameters, you'll want to fix the design here just a little bit. I like to only ever do two columns, not three, because three products per row is too much to look at. It makes it harder to choose. So I'll select two rows, two columns, and then edit the button text to say shop now. Of course, this block won't look like empty squares when the email is actually sent, and we'll see a real preview of it in just a second. In addition to the blocks, there's also the style section where you can set universal design settings like button colors, paragraph and headline fonts, and so on. Keep in mind that these styles are only set for this particular email, not across your whole account. In addition, if you have the email style set, you can still change the color and other attributes of any individual block in this email. All right, after you've edited all of the blocks to look and say exactly what you want, now let's preview the email. I do it in two steps. First, I preview it directly here in Klaviyo, and then I send myself and my team members a test so we can all preview this email on both desktop and mobile on our phones and computers. When you go to preview on the left, you see these two options. First, I want it to show directly in Klaviyo. This is where I proofread everything and make sure that the visuals look right. We can also preview our product feed here to see an example of how it's going to show up for recipients. After I've confirmed everything looks right, I go back to the preview options and send myself a test. The reason I do that is that this email will look differently in an inbox and it will look very different on my phone. In the Klaviyo accounts that we manage, we see that over 70% of opens happen on mobile. So you better make sure that your email looks impeccable on the phone. Pay extra attention to the font sizes on mobile. If the letters are too small, no one's going to read it and it will impact the effectiveness of your campaign. After you have confirmed that everything looks great on both desktop and mobile, click save content and go to the final stage of campaign setup. Here, make sure you have the right from name and email address. The best thing to do is to have a dedicated email address like hello at your company name or reply at your company name and use that email across all emails that you send. Make sure that someone is actually monitoring that inbox because people do reply to emails and you want to provide amazing customer service and respond to those emails in a timely manner. Pro tip. When subscribers reply to your emails, that's actually very good for your deliverability because that sends a signal that you're a real sender and not a spammer. To learn more about how to avoid your emails going to spam, watch my video on that on this channel. It should pop up in the corner right now. One last thing on the screen is the option to create an A-B test. I'm not going to touch it for now as we're sticking to the basics in this particular video, but if you want a tutorial on how to create a good A-B test, please leave a comment with your request under this video. I read all of those and they really help us a ton in planning our video content. Now let's continue to review. We're almost done here. A great thing about Klaviyo is that it gives me this amazing checklist before I send my campaign. If something's missing, like an unsubscribe link or a block with default content like I have here, Klaviyo will let me know right in this list. Let's pretend that I fixed this orange warning and everything was green and click schedule or send. Here you have the option of sending immediately, but for multiple reasons, it's usually best to schedule ahead. When you schedule, you'll have the option of picking a send time, and some send times are definitely better than others. If the segment that you're sending to is 12,000 subscribers or more, you'll see an option called Smart Send Time. It's a really cool feature where Klaviyo figures out the optimal send time for your audience. You will need to schedule three or four campaigns with this setting, and Klaviyo will send your campaign to chunks of your audience over periods of 24 hours. 
After Clavio has figured out your optimal send time, you'll see the option of sending at that particular time, as I do here. We found that the focus send time, which is a three hour window, gets us the best results. So I'm going to pick that. After you click schedule, the email is scheduled. Hooray. But what if deep into the wee hours laying in your bed, you realize you made a mistake? This happens to every email marketer every once in a while. If your campaign went out immediately, you cannot change it anymore. But if you scheduled ahead, you can cancel the campaign over here. To reschedule, you'll need to clone the campaign and work out of that new one. After rescheduling your updated campaign, it's a good idea to delete the canceled one, just so you don't get confused later. Whoa, we are done. You are such a champion. Give yourself a round of applause in your head, of course, otherwise it will look weird. Thank you so much for watching this till the end. If you're here, I truly appreciate a little like on this video and a comment, even if it's just a winky face. Those things help us tremendously in reaching more people and continuing to put out content for free. Thanks a million and I'll see you in the next video.